and welcome back to another gas ball. Today we're looking at remote sums, today's gas puzzle. The 24. Uh, it's by Clover. Clover's one of our sites here at Gas HQ. So am I. My name is Bill Murphy. It's my pleasure and my honor to solve this one today. Uh, just a heads up, today's is a bit tricky. I've been warned. Uh, but we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku. Um, we, blah, 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 blah. I, you know, we put a new puzzle up every day for you, the solver, uh, watching this. Uh, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. Come back. Uh, you will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Oh, I can... I burnt myself in the oven yesterday cooking together. Ooh, see it. Um, yeah, that being said, let's get into it. So, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, so, uh, each box, each row, each column must contain the digits nine ones each. Now, this is a remote sums puzzle. Now, what to heck does remote sums mean? I hear you ask. Well, uh, some cells have cages. Now, uh, for a digit placed in a cage, we call that N, and then there is another digit, uh, X, which is exactly N steps away in a straight line, so that N plus X equals the clue given in the corner of the cage. So, I'm going to take a second, because that's kind of, uh, kind of insane to explain, but, um, so, if this is if this cell that I've got highlighted here is five, we could put say a one in there. Now we what that means is one step away, so either that cell, that cell, or that cell must contain a four, um, in order for uh the sum to uh sum to five. Another example might be this eight. If I put a five here, then one, two, three, four, five. Or five steps away, one of those must be three. We don't know which. Now, I'm going to cover the biggest uh, problem that some people may run into in this now. So, if you uh, if you're like, hey, when we say straight lines, does that mean uh, if I put a three here, could I put a down here? The answer is no, because while in your brain that might look like steps kind of forgot how pipe um that is actually quite a bit more uh, uh oh god wow uh square root of 32 slightly less than six steps away um so uh yeah it's only horizontal and vertical I am going to put a note in the uh, note in the description today because I have a feeling that's going to get to people. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So let's start with the easiest digits. Uh, if if I have three, it needs to sum to that from two cells. It needs to be either it needs to be one and two. Now I have a one in this box, which means this must be two. Now two steps away, I need to place a one. So, obviously, it can't be this one here. I must go down here. Now, a three needs to be a one and a three, but because I've already got a one in that box, that means that this has to be three. Um, three steps away, I need to place a one. Can't be this one, so it needs to be this one. One step away from this four needs to have a three, but these two cells in row one uh, see the three there. So this is a three. Four. Uh, so this five needs to be made up of either one, four, or two, three. But in box one, we've already placed one, two, three, so this cell needs. Four steps away from that is either here or here. Uh, but that one, um, box four, tells us that the one has to go over here. Six in this box has to be uh, five and one, because it can't be one, two, three, or four, so it must be five. Now, five steps away from that, uh, is either that or 
Lord Bat. Um, so I must replace the one in box three. Um, there is a little bit more we can do before we go down and have a look at box nine. Six, seven over here means that six and seven can't go over here. This eight tells us around this eight, nine pair goes. The seven down here tells us that seven and this six. Um, I'll come back up to this. So, um, this three over here has to be one or two. Uh, we already have a one in the road to tell us how that goes. So that two means that one here. Now, this is one and three. Now, this is a little bit less obvious, but where does, uh, what digit goes in this box? Well, uh, if I put a three here, uh, it means that I need to place a one in one of those two squares. Now, I can't place it in box six because I've already got a one up there. I can't place it in column seven because I've already got my one five. So this must be one because uh, there are several places where I can place three. I'm not going to do it right this second. Now, uh, down here, this six, uh, six in two cells can only be made up of one, two, or four, five. So this has to be a four. Um, e, uh, that, that will definitely help out. Um, so four either means I have to place two up there or a two over here. Don't know what that does for me. Uh, oh, sorry. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, 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 four. Oh, I just had a complete brain fade. Um, so four means I have to place a two in one of the cells. I don't know what that does for me in a second. Um, however, this five, because I have a uh, one, four, and two in this box, for sure, that means that this five must be a three. Now, I know that those can no longer be three, and that must be three, but also three steps away has to be either there or there. Uh, which means it cannot be down here because I already have a rows. Two must go up here. Now, four steps away from this six is now either there or there, uh, but it can't be here because I've just placed a two in that box. So two goes over here, meaning this two steps away has to have a six. Now, seven and eight over here um, plus seven down here tells us that this must be seven and this must be eight. Six down here means that this has to be six and three, and then nine. Uh, where do I place a one? Oh, uh, this is a naked single, one and three, uh, and the rest of the boxes leave that to be a five. Five steps away from this can only go upwards, so that must be two over here. Uh, one in row nine, we know that that must go in column six and three. Now, this has to be two, four, or five, but I've just placed a two here. So this is a four because uh, a five in a cage means a five plus something else is going to be bigger than five. Four steps away from this uh, five is down here for a one. Uh, two and five. Two steps away from this uh, eight is either there, there, or there, leaving six to only be able to go in there. Uh, three and eight over here, three, eight, uh, four, seven, and nine, I can't quite do yet, that's okay, we will get there. Uh, this is two, four, and nine, and then this is five and six. Uh, three, uh, four, seven, and nine, I still can't quite do, but I will put it in the just in case. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Um. I went to the doctor about my cough uh, and discovered uh, for something I kind of already knew, but it placed in the back of my head that uh, I have allergies. I just really never really paid attention to them uh, for most of my adult life. I forgot about them. Um, yeah, over here, uh, this six sees a one and a five, so we know that it must be either two or four. Now, if this was four, what can I do about a two? The answer is not a whole lot. I can't place it there because that's a six. I can't place it over here because I already have a two box. So because I can't place a four at all, I must place a two. Uh, and now four can't go down here, so four must go over here. Uh, this is eight. 
Hmm. Uh, this is a five or a six. Now, if this is a six, where do I place a three? Uh, either, well, uh, the only place I can place it is there. That doesn't quite work, because there's already a digit there. That's five and that's six, and if we look down here, we can see we already put here on. Uh, four and nine, seven and eight. Uh, oi, oi, oi. This is still going. Uh, five, six, and nine. Not a five, six, nine? No, it's not a five. Three, five. I'm scanning really badly right now. All right, three. Um, four goes down there. Uh, this is a five, nine pair. This is a three and eight. Eight. That's pretty good. Seven, eight. What's this digit? That's a six. That's pretty useful. Uh, seven. Oh, have I? Okay. I've forgotten. It's a digit something. Ah, yeah. I forgot this one. Uh, thank God. I was like, I've solved this puzzle before. I know it has a unique solution. Eight, one step away, has a Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was just making it, I was just, uh, you know, padding for airtime, da 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 da, uh, but that's been Remote Sons. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.